So as you guys know, Montana's made the national news during this past week because of this spy balloon that's been flying over our state. What you don't know is the real reason that China decided to fly the balloon over Montana at this time. They have not talked about this on the national news. So in this video, I decided to show you guys what China's really looking at over northwest Montana right now. So let's take a look at the real footage this balloon's been getting over northwest Montana. So you may recognize this spot. This is the Whitefish City Beach and I've showed it to you a lot during summertime. But here in the winter you're probably wondering what all these people are doing out here. Obviously it's snow covered, it's frozen over, not really beach day. But what we're looking at here is called the Penguin Plunge. And this is part of the Whitefish Winter Carnival that they do this every year. It's to raise money for a local charity, and this year it was for the Special Olympics, but they cut a hole in the ice here and clear out all the, <laughs> clear out all the ice chunks out of the way. And then people actually get sponsors and, uh, to raise money. It's a great cause, but they actually jump in the lake. So... They're a little crazier than I am. My daughter did it once, but you're never going to see me doing this. And it looks very, very cold. So let's just take a look and show you these crazy people that are jumping in Frozen Lake. All right, folks. Get this So the Whitefish Winter Carnival started in 1960 and every year they have all kinds of events that go from about the middle of January until the final weekend in February. There's many events all over town up at the ski resort. Uh, there's a hockey tournament that I'm about to show you. The Penguin Plunge that we just looked at. They have different events at some of the bars downtown and it's just a fun time to be in Whitefish. So the hockey tournament every year is called the Smash and Bash, and it's an upper-level tournament. It's the highest level of players that are in Whitefish, and there's teams that come from all over the place. Uh, this year there were 10 teams in the tournament. Most of them were from Canada. There was a bunch of teams from Calgary, uh, one from Fernie, one from Lethbridge. Uh, there was also a team from Bozeman, Butte. Uh, and usually there's a team from Seattle that comes over as well. So because I'm a referee, I was able to get some great footage of this tournament. I wore a GoPro on my head for this first game that I refed on Friday night, and this was the Whitefish team playing a team from Canada, and uh, it was a fun game, and it was kind of cool to see the footage from on the ice, so you were right in the middle of it. There was even a little rough stuff that I got to go in and help break up and calm everyone down, which is part of hockey. But after this little scrum, everyone settled down and finished the rest of the game. And it was a good tournament, very competitive, some very good teams. And at the end, it ended up that the team from Bozeman uh, went undefeated and ended up winning the trophy. And they skated it around the ice just like the Stanley Cup. And it was a good time had by all, and congratulations to the Bozeman team for winning the Smash and Bash in 2023. So the biggest event of the weekend is usually the Grand Parade that's attended by a ton of people. 
it goes right through the middle of downtown Whitefish. It's a lot of fun, and then everybody hangs out downtown after the parade's over. And it's about an hour long and just a great finale to the weekend and the whole winter carnival season. So I thought I'd let you just enjoy some of the parade footage and show you the real reason that balloon was flying over Montana at this time.
Thank you for watching our video. Please call, text, or email for more information. And don't forget to watch our other videos about Montana.